I'm joined today here uh, by Paolo Roberto Bueno, professor at Sao Paulo State University. It's been a real pleasure to meet you, Professor Bueno, and I uh, just wanted to ask if you could introduce yourself and perhaps give us some very brief background about your research. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Uh, my, I'm a professor at St. Paul State University. I teach uh, physics for chemistry. Uh, my current research is on electronics and electrochemistry because we bring together uh, these two interface, these two fields of the science. Uh, because we have been demonstrated that at the nanoscale, at the molecular scale, and they are equivalent. So uh, the idea is to use uh, electrodes where we uh, uh, assemble molecules with pr properties that we can control. And uh, if we use these with appropriate receptors, we can then use this as a platform for diagnostics. That is my main focus of research at this moment, uh, of the applications of the theory we are using into something which is useful for the society. Fantastic. So you actually spoke and presented at our Diagnostics Day as part of our wider uh, Drug Discovery and Diagnostics Conference. Uh, and we're really focusing on tropical diseases. So mm -hmm. how does your research fit into diagnostics for tropical diseases? And what diseases are you looking at specifically? Yeah. Uh, so uh, in the diagnostic for uh, uh, tropical diseases, uh, we are interested especially in dengue, Zika and Chikungunya, which is flavoviridosis based uh, diagnostics. Uh, so the, the, we are focused on, on these, these uh, uh, diseases because um, the vector is the same, the same which is the, the, the mosquitoes. Uh, so the vector is, is the same. The idea is, which is the difficulty of this, these diseases is not only to, to diagnostic, it's to make the diagnosis quickly, fast, and uh, cheap. Uh, this is the focus of uh, or apply the research on these and try to differentiate. Because what, what is difficult is to know, because sometimes see people um, have uh, uh, the symptoms are very similar and uh, difficulties in, in really make it precise and cheap. So is the focus of my research on, on specifically on tropical diseases in related with flavoviridus. Brilliant. I think simple and cheap are things that will be very uh, useful to many people in this field. Um, yeah. So are those the main challenges that you're trying to overcome or what are the big hurdles in the diagnostics of these flaviviruses that you're seeking to address? Yeah. I think the difficulties, especially with dengue, that we have uh, uh, four or five different serotypes. So uh, the difficulties is to find out molecules or um, molecules that, that will be able to differentiate between these kinds of, of uh, uh, serotypes, which is the same disease with different intensities. So it is the same disease with different intensities. Uh, so make it very similar and is where the molecular diagnostic is very important because at the molecular level, you can differentiate. This is a challenge, but we, we think we can do this with a, a focus on, on, on specifically uh, trying to do it. It's obviously is not for immediate, but it's a long, a long process, but I think we can do, yeah. And looking forward, um, in terms of developing your your solution and your tool, are you looking for specific partnerships or funding? Yeah, this this is specifically challenger. Uh, what we are trying to do because um, uh, that there are a lot of um, difficulties to to support, especially tropical diseases, uh, in terms of. Uh, commercialization of the process. So we are trying to partner with a medical research council here in, in UK and Brazil, Sao Paulo State uh, uh, funding, uh, research and funding in, in South America. This is being partnership to construct a, 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 a fund 
to try to to develop something which can be cheap and commerce not commercialized but what we are trying to do is partner with also a healthcare system in Brazil specifically to sell to them or, or to set up for the government to try the surveillance system and soon it is established then we we think we can uh, overcome the problem of commercialization because obviously this is cheap and the government will need to 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 buy this from the company we can set a fabric a, 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 a manufacturing process for this i i believe so it is is possible but this is a challenger as i said so we need uh, a lot of partnerships yeah well, we'll keep an eye uh, for future developments and we, we wish you best of luck with that. Please do keep us posted with your uh, progress on that. Very exciting times. For thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. I, I th thank you very much for, for this invitation opportunity, that you, opportunity to, to be here. Thank you. And just um, separately to that, this kind of multidisciplinary approach to, to project uh, is very important to ISNTD and I was wondering Having attended this event today, how did you feel? What do you feel about the network, and how was how was D3 for you? Uh, I think it was very uh, interesting because um, it's, it's always important to have this interdisciplinary uh, characteristics, and this give us opportunity to to meet with people that brings different ideas or sometimes solutions over you we would not think on it or or or. or was not obvious for you, but uh, sometimes you can see a different approach and find solutions or paths to, to, to your research. 